My name's Fred McNeil, and thank you for watching QAC TV 7. You're watching a program called Travels with Holden. But wait a minute, there's no Holden. He's back to school, thank goodness. We're in Sellersville doing what we've been doing the last couple weeks, looking at different monuments and sites of interest in Queen Anne's County. We're downtown Sellersville on Main Street and Church Street, and I have with me today Jimmy Fox. Now, Jimmy Fox was from Sudlersville. There's a statue to him right now, right downtown. What's most interesting, Jimmy Fox was just not a good baseball player. He was one of the all-time greats. Hall of Fame at the age of 51. Numerous all-star games, numerous MVP awards, and numerous home run champions for the season. Again, from Sudlersville. If you come up to Sudlersville, come right downtown, right across from the bank, and you see this wonderful statue, a wonderful plaque that gives you the amazing history of Jimmy's baseball career. And it's a beautiful sight, and here we are on a beautiful September day, so you come on up and join us. As we continue our show, Travels with Holden, we stay in Sellersville, and we're visiting the original site of the Sellersville train station. This was built right after the Civil War and it was a way for people to travel, but also to move grain products which were grown in the Sellersville area. It's a beautiful spot, and now it houses, the train station houses some Jimmy Fox memorabilia, and also has memorabilia from the town of Sellersville. A delightful day trip, see the statue of Jimmy Fox, and come on out and see old time rail transportation. Our last stop in Sellersville with Travels with Holden will be at the Sudlersville Memorial Library. Now, this building was originally in 1808, believe it or not, a Methodist church. Then in 1947, it became a private library. Now, all the people in Sudlersville for years had a wonderful chance to get books and all the services of a library, which was run locally. And if you ever have a chance, come on up. You get to see the Jimmy Fox, Fox statue. You get to see the old train station. All types of fun in Sellersville. And see an old library, which is full of history and just a delightful place to visit. Maybe one day the county will take it over and we'll have a county library here. We've left Sellersville, and one of my favorite little cities is the town of Barclay. I pass through it every time on the way to Dover. It has the Barclay Depot. It has a couple small businesses. It also is the home of Ernie Darling, longtime worker for the Queen Anne's County Board of Education. But perhaps my favorite thing in Barclay, and a typical Eastern Shore, charming, low-key facility, it's the Barclay Town Office. Now, they don't have meetings in there anymore, but they have a smile and a charm that is pure Eastern Shore, pure Queen Anne's County, and pure Barclay, Maryland. We've been in Sellersville, and we went to Barclay. Now we're in Churchill, Maryland. Now, Churchill got its name not from Winston Churchill, but from this church behind me, a church on the hill. This place was established, or this church was established in 1728, and it is the oldest intact brick church in the state of Maryland. And what's interesting for local folks this is where a lot of people say the original Queen Anne's County School, a school for children, was first here right in Churchill. It's a lovely spot, it's quiet, it's calm, and again, it's what makes the Eastern Shore and Queen Anne's County special. St. Luke's Episcopal Church, Churchill, Maryland.